Now we talk about contractible space. So space X is contractible if it is homotopically equivalent to a point. So basically you have, you go from X to a point via a map R and this map R has to be a constant since you're mapping the entire space to a point and then you have inclusion map back into the space X. So you have first you apply R and then you apply I. You should get a map which is homotopic to ID on X. So since R is a constant map and I is just inclusion, this is equivalent to instead of R I'm going to write constant map. So this is equivalent to ID on X being homotopic to constant map. So notice that homotopically equivalent you can define also in terms of ID on the space homotopic to a constant map. Let us now talk about deformation retract. So say A is a subset of X and you have a map R from X to X such that R of X is contained within the set A and R is homotopic to ID on X. Also if you restrict R to the set A, you just get A. So that is ID on A and if all these conditions are fulfilled, then we call R as a deformation retract. So it's a deformation retract of X to the set A. So you can also see it this way. Say so you first have map R, then you have map I, the inclusion map. So if you first apply I and then you apply R, you get ID on A. That is homotopic to ID on A. In fact, there is an equal, equal to sign here. Ri is equal to ID on A. And if you apply R first and then I, this is equal to R and that is homotopic to ID on X. So X and A are, are homotopically equivalent. So just from the definitions we have constructed deformation retract and showed X and A are homotopically equivalent. So let us A, D, G, P, Q, they are all homotopically equivalent to letter O. Now there is a deformation retract and then you can have equal inclusion map. So the first important example is that the space Rn is contractible. That is Rn is homotopically equivalent to a point. So we are going to show that the ID on Rn is homotopic to a constant map which we will just say 0. So you have Rn times the unit interval going to Rn. We have to construct a homotopy now. So Xt will get mapped to Tx via homotopy H. So when T is 0, you just get the 0 map. So 0 map is nothing but a constant map. And when T is 1, you just get the ID map. 
So you have the ID map is homotopic to a constant map and therefore we have a homotopic equivalence between Rn and a point. So second example R and minus this point zero. This is homotopically equivalent to S and minus one. So we are going to show the following. So we are just going to follow the figure in deformation retract. So instead of A, I'm writing S and minus one, and instead of X, I'm writing R and minus zero. So you have map F. And then you have map I, which is the inclusion map of Sn minus 1 into Rn minus 0. So this map F we have to define. So F takes a point X in Rn minus 0 to X divided by norm of X. So if you first apply the inclusion map and then you apply F, you get ID on Sn minus 1. This is clear. On the other hand, if you first apply now we have to show this I R is equal to R I D of X. So I F if you first apply F and then I you get homotopic to I D of R and minus zero. So this we have to show. So let us construct the homotopy from I F to ID of R n minus 0. So the homotopy you have 1 minus T x times T over x by norm of x. So this is f of x. So inclusion map doesn't help much because it's just inclusion. So we just construct f of x and then you can clearly see now when it is 1 when when T is 1 you just get f of x and when t is 0 you get x which is the id map. So this is an example of a linear homotopy. So linear homotopies are of the form 1 minus t g of x plus t times f of x. And uh, another important example of homotopy is this uh, convex space. So if f is a convex space and you have a map from y to x. So you have two maps say f and g from some space y to x then f is homotopic to g. So say you have space y and you have space x and there is a point here. So via f it gets mapped to one place and via g it gets mapped to another place. Now since x is convex you can join any two points in x with a line. So in particular you can say there is a line 1 minus t x2 plus t times x1. Yeah, So this line will join x2 and x1 as t varies from 0 to 1 and this lies in the set x. But this x2 is nothing but say f of x2 is g of y and x1 is f of y. So if you have a convex set and you have a space y to x you will always get homotopy.